Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on solving word problems that involve money, and these will involve adding and subtracting. Keep in mind, when you purchase something, you subtract from the grand total, and when you receive money, you add to the amount of money you have. So let's get started with a couple word problems. Okay, problem number one. Emily went to a store with $45. She bought a notebook for $12 and a pencil case for $8. How much money does Emily have left after making her purchases? So let's get started. She begins with $45. What you can do is subtract each of the purchases individually, or you could get a grand total of the purchase, and I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to take $12 for the notebook and $8 for the pencil case, and I'm going to add that together, and that equals $20. So she spent $20 total. Now, remember, when you spend, you subtract from the amount of money you have. So she had $45 to begin with, and we're going to subtract what she spent, which is $20, and now that gives her $25 that she has left over, to go maybe buy something else. With the next problem, we have Ryan has $100. He buys a video game for $40 and a pair of headphones for $25. How much money does Ryan have left after his purchases? Okay, remember, when you purchase, you subtract from the amount of money you have. In this one, I'm going to go ahead and subtract each one individually. And you can do it either way. You can either add them up for a grand total or subtract them as you purchase. So I'm going to take 100 minus 40, which is what he spent for the video game. And after that, he has $60 left over. Now he has $60 and he buys a pair of headphones for $25. So now I'm going to take 60 minus 25. And when you subtract those two, that gives you $35. So after purchasing the video game and the headphones, he has $35 left over. Number three, Max wanted to buy a toy car that cost $18.75. He had $12.50 saved up from his allowance. How much more money does Max need to buy the toy car? Okay, so he needs a grand total of $18.75. He has $12.50. So if you take eighteen seventy five minus twelve dollars and fifty cents, that's the difference that he needs to come up with. And when you subtract that, that is six dollars and twenty five cents. Now, if you'd like to check your work, you can add twelve fifty and six dollars and twenty five cents, and it does indeed equal eighteen dollars and seventy five cents. So Max is close, but he still needs. $6.25 to get that toy car. The Johnson family went shopping and brought $65 with them. While in the store, they found a $20 bill. They then spent $23.40 on fruits and vegetables, $15.50 on snacks, and $8.60 on drinks. After shopping and paying for all of the groceries, how much money do they have left? So let's get started with this. The first thing, let's get the grand total of how much money they have with them. They had 65, but they found a $20 bill, and whenever you receive money, you're going to add that to your grand total. So 65 plus 20 is $85. Now, we need to subtract the amount of groceries that they had. Let's get a grand total. So they have 2340 plus 1550 plus 860. And so a grand total, they spent $47.50 on groceries. Now let's go back to the total amount of money that they brought with them, which was $85. And now, whenever you purchase, you subtract. And we need to subtract the purchase of all of the groceries, which was $47.50. And when you do that, they have 
and 50 cents left over if they need to go and get some additional groceries.